What would you think if I told you that we're unknowingly contaminating our waterways with that one weekend chore of doing our laundry? And what if I said that the technology used to make sure that our clothes stay fresh is responsible? Nano silver is the most commonly used nanoparticle. What is a nanoparticle? It refers to anything less than 100 nanometers in size, where one nanometer is equivalent to one billionth of a meter. That's like comparing the size of the Earth to that of a marble. So we're talking very, very small particles, and it's a small nature that makes them very reactive. Nano silver, in particular, is used for its antibacterial properties. It keeps surgical instruments and wound dressings bacteria-free in the hospital, but it also eliminates odors in clothing and boosts laundry detergents in your home. So one way that nanosilver is getting into aquatic systems is from the simple act of doing your laundry. Near wastewater treatment plants, nanosilver concentrations are in the part per billion range. This may seem low, but being such a new technology, very little is known about the effects of low concentrations of nanosilver on aquatic ecosystems. This is where my research comes in. The research team I'm a part of, the Lake Ecosystem Nanosilver, or LENS project, undertook a first-of-its-kind study by adding nanosilver continuously over two years to a pristine lake, and then we monitored all aspects of the ecosystem, including the water, sediment, invertebrates, and fish. It's been a difficult road to get to where we are now. We conducted our study at the Experimental Lakes Area, or ELA, in Northwestern Ontario, internationally renowned for its studies on whole ecosystem research. You may recall in the news four years ago that the federal government made cuts to the environmental sector and the ELA fell victim to these cuts. The announcement was made a mere three weeks after I started my PhD and for nearly two years we weren't sure if we'd be able to proceed. However, the International Institute for Sustainable Development was our savior and they took over to ensure the continued operation of ELA in the future. So, in 2014 and 2015, we added nanosilver to a lake, and I collected fish to monitor silver accumulation and other biological effects. One striking finding was that fish from the lake continuously accumulated silver throughout their bodies, but especially the liver, and the smaller forage fish, yellow perch, accumulated less than their main predator, the northern pike. This suggests that the biological community accumulates silver rapidly, not only from the water column, but also their diet. We're returning this spring to monitor recovery to find out how long it takes for the effects of nanosilver to be mitigated after exposure stops. Then, if wastewater technologies can be developed to remove nanosilver, which is expected to continue to be used long into the future, then perhaps one day soon, we won't have to worry about the risks of doing our laundry again. Thank you.